I went from studying 10 hours per test with an overall average of 98% to studying 1.5 hours per test with an overall average of 99%. In this new video series I'm studying on student productivity, I'll be sharing with you some of the note-taking methods, studying strategies, and general productivity tips I've used over the past year. Hello, hello everyone. For those of you who are joining back after my two year break, welcome back. For those of you who are new, my name is David Liu. I'm currently a grade 12 student and I'll be attending Western University for their medical sciences and scholars elective program in the coming fall. So for a bit more background about me, from grades nine to 11, my overall average was 98%. However, for each test, I would study 2.5 hours per day four days prior to the test. So around 10 hours per test. And with the extracurricular activities, I was involved in along with the part-time job. I hardly had time to do anything else. In grade 12, I wanted to become a more effective studier because I didn't want to study 10 hours per test. So I started to do research on scientifically proven effective studying habits. And one of the methods I came across was active recall. And I'm now a total fan of it, just ask my brother. It's all I talk about these days. And I think the difference between active recall and passive recall, which is what many of us do while studying, can be best illustrated through an example. The following question is an example of active recall. There are blank bones in the human body. And this question forces you to retrieve information from your brain to apply it to this question. Meanwhile, passive recall is when we just review our class notes or the teacher's lecture slides and going like, oh yeah, we recognize that, instead of applying your knowledge and retrieving it from your brain to answer a question, like how it's done on tests. I personally used an app called Anki, and it has completely transformed the way I study. So I slowly began to research more scientifically proven studying habits. And throughout the past year, I have developed new habits, methods, and strategies that I'll be sharing with you throughout this student productivity series. So now that grade 12 is over, my overall average this year was 99%. And it's not that 1% jump in mug that was meaningful, but the fact that I cut down my studying time by five to six times. So for example, for my most recent chemistry tests, it's been taking me one to 1.5 hours to study for the test in total. I managed to cut down my studying time while raising my mug, and that's the power of effective note-taking, studying, and general productivity. So who is this series for? Who is it going to benefit? Well, if you're a student who wants higher mugs while still having time to do the things you enjoy, this is the series for you. Also, if you find yourself in class copying down what the teacher is saying word for word, or if you study by rereading notes, or if you struggle to apply what you learn to those more difficult thinking and application style problems, I think that this series could benefit you a lot. And I wanted to add a quick disclaimer at the end that I am by no means an expert. I've only started to implement these new productivity techniques in the past year. I still have so much to learn, and that's a part of the reason why I'm making this series. I hope that while I share with you what I do and what's worked for me, that I can also learn new techniques and methods to be more effective and to become a better student myself as well. So I hope you're excited for this series. I am too. If you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. It would help the YouTube algorithm. And with that, I'll see you all in the first video.